Non-verbal communication is often much more powerful and honest than whatever people are trying to say. Portraits, therefore, have a unique power. I don't really believe there's a right and wrong way to do portraits. What you're going to be doing is learning how to observe and how to think about different ways of translating what you observe into a picture. I'm Jonathan Yeo and I've been making portraits for a living for about the last 30 years. And I've been lucky enough to paint some truly extraordinary people in that time. I think a successful portrait, it's a record of that relationship between the artist and the sitter. There could be a monster there. <laughs> this course is gonna be a first for me because there are gonna be cameras in the studio at all time. We're gonna walk you through every part of my process. From the materials to painting techniques to how to choose and how to engage your subject, how to light your subject. More interesting is when you get sort of like with your three quarters onto the light, and so you're really starting to notice a bit more the sort of volume of the face. How to troubleshoot when it's going wrong, which it will. How to decide when the painting's finished. What you're trying to do is kind of encourage this little sort of game with the viewer, where there's something there that they can't put their fingers on, which feels like it's got a human presence. Good news is, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get started. Probably get started with what you have around your house. If you haven't got a canvas, take the back off that sort of cabinet in the kitchen you don't like. You know, just find a surface and start doing it. Like, how do you do that? Well, how you can watch it? the program. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Yeo, and this is my BBC Maestro course in portrait painting.